Let's discuss kinetic theory of matter. We use the container and we use gas particle as an example. Let's imagine a gas container consists of a um, very large number of gas particles. So all these gas particles, they exist in very large number. And not only they are exist, they exist in very large number, their size is also very small. Okay? They are very small. And all these particles, they are constantly in motion. Constantly moving in random motion. Meaning they don't have specific direction, they are moving everywhere. If I zoom this, it is moving with certain speed. When we mention speed, we also use the word velocity. The difference between speed and velocity, you can find out more from your physics teacher. So this speed and velocity tells us how fast a molecule or particles move. All these are gas particle. All right. So when we talk about speed, we also have to mention something about kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is energy related to a moving object. So let's try one example. I will show you. If an object having mass 17 kg and is moving with velocity 23 meter per second. So the formula for kinetic energy is half mv squared. So you can do some calculation, half times 17 times 23 squared. So the answer is whatever answer you press, the answer you get from your calculator. All right. So this kinetic energy tells us that it depends on the mass. Depends on the mass and it depends on the speed. Okay, I'll give you more example. If myself, a heavy person, okay, the mass is very high, and I run fast, my V is very high. So based on calculation, my kinetic energy is very high. My mass is still very high, but I go slow. Okay, so the kinetic energy will be lower. What if a small sized guy, his mass is very little, but he moves really fast, his kinetic energy is quite high as well. So, however, if the small sized guy, he is very lazy, so he moves very slow, so his speed is also very low, and kinetic energy will be very low indeed. All right. So let's move on with more example of kinetic theory of matter. So this kinetic theory of matter, they have more assumption. Another assumption is uh, consider two particles. These two particles, not only they are colliding with each other, they also collide with the wall. All right. Not only they collide with each other, they also collide with the wall. Let's say this is the wall of the container. Wall of container. So this is a wall. Okay. When it moves with certain speed, it will bounce back with the same speed. Same goes here. If you move with V, and then you move with V, when they bounce back, they will bounce with the same value of V. Example, if they move to each other to, with 12 meters per second, after colliding with each other, the speed will be the same. There's no slowing down of the speed. From this explanation, we also can say that the kinetic energy before is the same as the kinetic energy after. Right, so this kind of collision we call it elastic collision. Okay, you will find out more from your physics teacher, or you can visit my web another website, the Physics Idiot at YouTube. So this elastic collision shows that there's no loss of kinetic energy. All right, another interesting thing is all these particle. The time before collision. 
or you can say the time that they are about to hit each other is actually longer let's say example 5 seconds but during collision such as this when they hit each other the time could be less than 1 second the contact time is very fast okay very low uh, the number is very lo low less than 1 second right so these are the assumption another assumption is there are no forces of attraction when two particles are near each other they have stronger forces of attraction what kind of forces they are we will discover it later in later chapters all right stronger forces of attraction so for a solid you have stronger forces of attraction for a gas the force of attraction is very weak okay so for maybe liquid the force of attraction is somewhat moderate but overall kinetic theory of matter they assume there's no forces of attraction between each other when we use kinetic theory of matter most of the most of the statements are actually assumptions from this assumption we move on to understand how the solid liquid and gas how their interaction with each other affects the outcome of their physical state all right